guys welcome back to my channel so first of all i apologize for the echo there's like almost no furniture in this room and there's no rug but anyway today i want to finally organize my makeup this is what i'm dealing with <laughs> these are all the beauty products and not just makeup it's like anything beauty related so hair products skincare products nail polish stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna be organizing it into this which i showed in one of my first like decorating videos i think it might have been actually the first one but yeah i love it so much it's from urban outdoors you guys have probably seen this and it's just great because it has a ton of drawers and you can like label it and stuff so i think this will be perfect for all of this so i'm going to be going through it seeing what i want to keep seeing what i want to give away donate anything some stuff is definitely going to go in the trash because i'm sure it's expired but yeah Let's get started. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is actually separate it into categories. So like I said, skincare, hair, nails, all of that stuff. I also have some perfumes. And I'm actually gonna be storing jewelry in this as well. I don't know if I'm really gonna film that. I think that'll just go in the video with like the whole makeover of this space. But yeah, I just wanted to go through the products with you guys. Let's see what's in this first box. Oh God, it's heavy. Um, okay, so in here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that, but I actually have a lot of brushes and some lipsticks too. I actually put some containers up there, I don't know if you guys can see that, that I want to use for brushes because they're bigger than the ones that I used to use. So this is a pretty good one. But yeah, I'm thinking of actually storing maybe my brushes on top of that or maybe it'll go on my vanity. Not 100% sure yet. By the way, the video after this will probably be the one of this whole room it's basically my office and my beauty room so yeah i decorated everything it's almost done so that should be out soon by the way if i'm talking kind of weird i have like a cut on my tongue and it really hurts to talk so probably not a great time to film a video but i'm gonna do it anyway Okay, so I know it doesn't really look that organized, but what I've done is I separated, this is hair stuff. Here are like makeup bags and things like that. This is all skincare. Um, have some teeth things there. That's nails. This is like makeup accessories. So sponges, like product to clean the brushes and these little things to clean the brushes as well. Eyelashes, stuff like that. And then I'm going to skip over this for now because this is jewelry. Those are perfumes. I keep my actual perfumes in the bedroom. These are just extras that I have. Um, and then I have some candles over there. And I think that's it. And then the rest is makeup. So this box, all of this, that. I started putting the lipsticks in there. Um, brushes and stuff. All my setting sprays over here. And then this is makeup as well so I think the next step is to actually separate the makeup like separate lipsticks foundation primer all that stuff okay so it's a few days later um, I just kind of put this on pause but um, basically what I've done is I already put jewelry on this lower um, like row so I have like bracelets in here I don't know if that looks very organized I mean to me it makes sense if a bracelets and then watches down here Try to keep like gold to one side so let's see um and then i put earrings in here and in here what i put oh yeah i put some necklaces although i do have a like necklace hanger thing so once i i guess organize that i might take some of these and put it on that next up i'm going through my nail polishes and i've kind of gone through them i separated them by brands just so that they line up better um, and I think these are the only ones that I'm actually getting rid of because they just like look super old in the color. Just, yeah, does not look good. Um, I'm sure there are some of these that also probably aren't the best because some of them are pretty old, but they looked fine. So these are the ones I'm going to try to keep. And then as I test them out, I'll see if they're actually any good. So after getting up to this point, I'm starting to think that I should actually be separating them by color. So I do have a lot of like similar colors, but from different brands. 
and I just feel like I'd be better because then if I'm like, oh, I'm in the mood for like a burgundy, I can go to like all the nail polishes that are kind of that color and choose like that. It probably won't look as neat because I just love seeing all like of the same ones together, but it'll be more practical. Okay, it's done. So I did do it by color. Um, I kept the glitters here, here like colorful ones, then like blacks and grays and stuff like that. Um, then I have all my burgundies. I have a lot of burgundies. Then like taupey colors going all the way to white. Um, and then on this row, it's just like cuticle oil. Um, what's it called? Like a base thing, a top coat and stuff like that. And then here I have my little dryer, some little stick on nails and some little like, you know, little nail tools. So yeah, I'm glad everything fit perfectly in here. All right, next up is mascaras. I have a lot. Some of these might actually be kind of empty or dry. I'm not sure. Obviously some are still in the box. I have these cool colorful ones um, that Urban Decay sent me. They sent me a ton. I gave a bunch away and I think I only kept these two. But yeah, let's go through them. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how long it's been since the last clip. What happened was it was getting pretty late so I decided to stop. Then I had a friend come to stay here and so I moved everything over so it, actually it looks a bit more organized I think than the last time you guys saw it and then I just put it off and then I got sick and all this stuff so it's been a while also I felt like the way that I was just going through the makeup honestly was a little boring and yeah so I think I might just speed it up I feel like you guys don't want to see me go through every single product I don't know maybe I'll just like mention products that I really like or that I really hated and stuff like that. For the most part though, I think I'll just do a little time lapse or something. Also, I have kind of decorated the top here. I'm showing you guys a little sneak peek because I already posted it on Instagram by the time this goes up. But the video of the whole office slash beauty room will be after this one, I believe. Just waiting on a few items to be delivered. But yeah, let's get to organizing. So I just went through the hair products. These are the ones I'm getting rid of, but just because this one apparently opened up in the move and spilled everywhere. So yeah, it's empty. And these are also empty, but I do actually like these. I actually love the Bedhead dry shampoo. I think it's really good, but it's empty. And then there's just an empty box because I took it out. But I think I'm gonna keep everything else. Um, I have some hair masks and stuff that I really wanna try and then some things for texture and volume. The problem is a lot of these things are very tall, so I can't just stand them up. So it's not ideal actually to store them here. I might have to store them like in the bathroom. Actually, I think that might be best. Maybe put it back in like these little baskets and move it there because then I'll actually be able to see all the products. Okay, so I did end up putting it in these little baskets. I just feel like it'll work better. So I just kind of put like Hairspray, um, these are like texturizing sprays and sprays for volume. I have some heat protectants, dry shampoo, and yeah. And then over on this one, I have some shampoos and oils and what are those? Oh yeah, and hair masks, so I have those. And then these, which I think my aunt actually gave me these. I haven't tried them yet, but they're supposed to be for like oily hair, which I do have, so I should actually try them. Okay, so I'm actually gonna leave um, skincare for last because I'm a little overwhelmed by how much I have. So I'm gonna move on to makeup, which I feel like is the exciting part. And yeah, and then I feel like once I have all of that organized, I can see how many drawers I have left to figure out the skincare stuff and see how I can divide it into whatever I have left. Because I can always move some of that stuff over to the bathroom as well. In here, I just really want all of my makeup since this is where my vanity is and it's where I'll be getting ready. All right, so the first makeup drawer is done. I did kind of like powders, I guess, like here, are like face powders. Actually, it's not all powders. So basically face powders, bronzers, and highlights. I don't know if this is the best way to put it. I honestly don't know how to put these so that they're not like just like falling all over the place. I tried kind of stacking them like this, but I felt like they were gonna tip over because I don't have that much stuff. 
So yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll have to get some little dividers or little containers just to like keep everything in place. But this is everything I kept. These are the things I got rid of. I got rid of this just because it's like kind of purple and I feel like I never use this. This is super old, so is this. Um, this is actually empty. I used to love this powder, but I think this brand stopped selling stuff in the US, at least as far as I know. Um, and then I'm getting rid of this because I never use it. I just don't really like cream contour, I guess. So get rid of that. And this is also super old. It's just a huge like bronzer thing. So yeah, one down, quite a few more to go. Guys, I'm finally done. I feel like it took forever, but here it is. Let me show you guys everything I got rid of. So this is the pile. A lot of it is just empty boxes because I had a lot of new products that I hadn't even opened. So I opened those. The makeup that's just like really old. Most of my new things that like I just didn't want because it wasn't the right shade or I just had doubles or whatever. I already had like a bag of it and all my friends and family already went through it. So this is really just old stuff except for this this i have to try it out i'm not sure if i would actually use it or not so i have to see and these are just little mini shampoos and conditioners that i think i'm gonna put in the guest bathroom but yeah now let me show you guys how i organize everything all right so first up i put primers and setting sprays hopefully you guys can see that all right uh these setting sprays and primers were too tall for me to have them standing up unfortunately so i had to lay them down it's mainly all-nighter sprays and then a few little random ones, but I have some more over here. And like I said, I kept primers and stuff on this side, setting sprays on this side, and then I don't know if you guys can... Oh, that's messy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, at the bottom I actually have like eyeshadow primers. So, yeah. And then some like primers like this. So that's the first drawer. The only annoying thing about these drawers is that they do come down a lot. So I feel like things are gonna fall over pretty often. So I might have to find something else to try to keep them like more in place. I don't know, but for now it works. All right, so in the second one, I ended up putting foundations, concealers, and face powders. I had put the face powders first with like blush and bronzer and stuff, but I decided to move it over to this drawer. It's actually pretty empty. I don't have that many foundations. I have a few here. These are like my more full coverage ones that I don't use as often. Some Maybelline ones. And this one's actually my newest one and I've been really liking it. Um, because it's kind of like, I don't know, you can just like put it on with your hands. It's like really nice for when you're in a rush, you know, and stuff. But it gives nice coverage still. And I don't think I've ever had a foundation match my like skin tone as perfectly as this one does. Like this is in the shade golden neutral wn46 and it's perfect for my skin tone but this is usually my go-to at least it's been for years um so yeah and then i put my powders over on this side some translucent ones can you guys see that i don't know if you can i think you guys can see it a little better now but yeah translucent ones and then some color ones and loose powders and then over here i just have like concealers and like color correctors and stuff so yeah that's this drawer so over on the third one is like basically all eye products. So in here, I actually do have this little tray, which helped to keep it a little bit more organized. I put all of like my eye pencils. I have so many of these Urban Decay ones, like in a bunch of different colors. So I just put all those here, some black ones, a white one, um, liquid like eyeliner, like pens and stuff, and ones like this. And then here I have like the like metallic one, the glittery ones from Urban Decay some like little gel liners. Back here, I just put a few um, eyebrow products. I don't have that many, so that little spot was perfect. And then here on the side, I just put mascaras. So here I put the ones that are open. Is that too dark? Okay, I tried to brighten it a little bit. I feel like it was too dark, but 
Here I have mascaras that are like out of the box and then over here I put ones that are still in the box either because I have ones like this one that you know I'm using still this one so I don't have to open that one. Same for this one and then these are just ones I haven't tried yet which are like the colorful ones so that's my little eye drawer. I actually do have to label these like I want to get a little label maker because I feel like if I do it by hand it's not going to look as cute. Alright so moving on to the second row. This first one is all eyeshadow palettes. So I think these are basically all my eyeshadow palettes. Um, yeah, I think I kept like almost all of them. Then over on the side, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like smaller ones like this. So that worked out pretty well. I did have this little acrylic thing, I don't know if you guys can see, that I used to use to store eyeshadow palettes on my vanity. So I kept it in here just to like help organize it a little bit, but I feel like I have enough for them to actually all stand up, so. That was pretty cool. And then because I have more eyeshadows, there's a second drawer. And this one is actually all of my like single eyeshadows. So, well, except for the ones at the bottom. Right at the bottom, I have two really big Morphe palettes. And then I have my Z palettes with like individual shadows, which are pretty much all from Makeup Geek. I just love those shadows. And then a bunch of little ones here. It's mainly Milani, Urban Decay. I have some like Essence and Ulta ones and some MAC ones, but to be honest, I rarely use these, but I do love these palettes here. And then I have like one little like cream eyeshadow thing, so I just put it there. So on this drawer right over here, I actually put face palettes. It's like not very full, so they were falling over, which is why I kind of like leaned them back a bit. But it's basically any palettes that have like blush, uh, bronzers, highlights, and stuff like that. Most of them are mixed, which is why I just put them all together. And then I also have this blush palette here, which is really big, which is why I put it on the side, because this width wasn't big enough. But yeah, just a bunch of little palettes. I love these. This NARS one right here, the Steven Klein one, I just love it so much. There's the color, I think, Luster in there. That's like my favorite blush ever. A lot of these I haven't even gotten to try yet, like this, like the Urban Decay, what is that called? Afterglow palette? You, yeah, Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette. Like, I haven't tried that. I haven't gotten to try this right here, the little cherry palette. So, I'm excited for that. All right, so down here in this drawer is all of my, like, single bronzers, uh, blushes, and highlights, stuff like that. I also have some that are for the body. But yeah, I try to keep bronzers over on this side, highlights on this side, and then blushes up here. Honestly, I don't think it's organized in the best way, and I'm scared that they're gonna keep like moving all over the place. So I might have to figure out a better way, but for now, that's what I have, and yeah. I have my little Becca highlights here that I love. Actually, the highlight that I use all the time, see, this isn't good. Things are gonna fall when I get one. But this is the highlight that I use like almost every day, which is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's so good, like it's so cheap, but it's so nice. I love the Becca ones, but sometimes they're a little too much for every day. So, love those. All right, and this one starts the lipsticks. I have two for lipsticks. This one is all liquid lipsticks. So I have this little container here, which honestly I kind of want to get more of because I feel like it just looks way more organized with this. I don't know if I'll, able to, I'll be able to fit all of them if I use this. I'll have to do the math, but I do think it looks better. So I have all of my LA Girl liquid lipsticks here. Here it's mainly all just ColourPop, but I do have some more in here and Ofra, Galactic, stuff like that. Um, I kind of did it by color, but yeah. And then here I have all my little mini ColourPop ones and some other small uh, liquid lipsticks like this. Oh, what is that? That's kind of dirty. I need to clean it. I tried to clean all the makeup as I was putting it in, but I guess I missed a few. As you guys can see, I definitely have a preference for shades. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but pretty much like mauve shades with like a little bit of browns and stuff. So yeah, just love nudes and mauves. And on this one, it's all of my other kinds of lipsticks. This one I feel like is looking a little messy, especially this area here. But for the back, I did have one of those acrylic things to organize lipsticks. But yeah, here I just put like little ones. Here I just kind of put the rest that could stand up. And then here I put kind of like lip crayons and lippy sticks and stuff like that. And then over on this side, um, I have, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have glosses, which honestly I rarely wear. 
but I kind of want to start to maybe so I just kept a few so that maybe I'll use it and then I also kept like some lip balms and lip scrubs and stuff like that so I feel like you guys already know like what's in the bottom drawers but I'll still give a little overview so we have makeup accessories here so sponges MTZ palettes um, falsies mirrors and things to like clean my brushes over here is my nail drawer so all my nail polishes this little like nail dryer thing, some little stick on nails, some cotton, all that good stuff. Here I just have um, candles and some extra perfumes that like I haven't opened yet. Here I have a bunch of little um, perfume sample things. I don't know, I have to go through them, see if there are any I actually like. Over here I have um, earrings. They're in these little containers that like separate each one so they don't get all tangled up, which I think is nice. I have three of these. Um, and then on the side, I just have bigger ones like hoops and stuff. And this one, I have all my bracelets and watches. What's the? Oh, it's because I took out a watch. I don't know where it is, but I have to put it back. And then in this last row right here, I have all of my bigger necklaces and some little chokers and stuff. But as you guys saw, I did put a little, um, what's it called? A jewelry stand thingy here with all of like my dainty necklaces. So that's where all of those went. I also keep like the watch that I use the most and my charm bracelet and stuff like that. Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is where I'm actually keeping my rings. So really like that. It keeps everything really nice and organized. I love it. So yeah. So here is a little overview of my little makeup and jewelry section. I think it looks pretty cute. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me organize all of my stuff. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!